Amigos de Team 99, bienvenidos a una entrevista más a través de eh, el Facebook. Por supuesto, siempre tenemos entrevistas con los mejores artistas y el día de hoy estoy muy feliz porque estoy con Tim de una banda que ustedes conocen perfectamente, que es quien estará próximamente en uno de los mejores festivales de todo Monterrey, que es para el norte. Tim, how are you? Very well. How are you? I'm great. So happy to to have you here because uh you guys are such an iconic band, you know, and I I cannot believe honestly that I'm talking with you guys because I'm a huge fan and I'm so happy to talk with you, especially because you guys are visiting Monterey uh in shortly like probably two weeks. So how are you guys feeling? Yeah, really excited. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. We we've been a few times before. Uh, to Monterey, so and we always have an incredible time. So uh, yeah, you guys have been so good to us. We can't wait to come back. Uh, team, please tell me. Uh, I I don't know if you guys have a uh, probably like the key of success or some some you know some things that you guys do to stick together uh, through all these years. You know, you I I'm pretty sure you have your up and downs, but how you guys do to stick together and be on stage? You know. Well, we love what we do and, you know, we love each other as well. Um, I think when you get older, you appreciate these things more. Um, you know, we, we as, as you say, it's been a few years and uh, music is such a, it's a very kind of youth obsessed business and, every, you know, it's all about novelty and newness. So if you can still be doing it after 20 years, you know you feel very lucky you know we've seen lots of our contemporaries um not be so lucky i suppose and uh yeah so so we try and enjoy everything we do and i think we appreciate each other more as well as time goes by it's crazy to say 20 years you know uh probably it's it, it, it's a, a random thing but in this year you, your album hopes and fears is starting in 20 years, you know, and, and it's probably one of uh, the fans' favorite. So tell me about this specific album. If you remember something like playing on stage, like with this album. I mean, obviously it was our first album, so it meant uh, a lot. Well, it meant so much to us at the time because you have that transition from being kind of, I don't know, kids with, with this dream of playing music to people. And then you, you transition into that actually kind of being your life. Um, so that there are so many memories associated with that album, um, you know, because the, if you think about the songs, uh, you know, for us, they're like big songs for us, like Somewhere Only We Know or This Is The Last Time bed shapes everybody's changing all of those songs you know we played them in little clubs in london to like 10 people you know and we'd be doing those shows but then a year later or two years later or whatever it was we were playing them to much bigger audiences so that album kind of spans like bridges the gap between that you know over that huge change in our lives So yeah, I have I don't know so many great memories. Um, yeah, it's, it's just an amazing time. Like playing at Glastonbury Festival in the UK was was a really mind blowing thing. Um, suddenly having you know having a sort of twenty thousand people or whatever it was who all knew the songs that was crazy. Uh, you know, and obviously coming out to to Mexico for the first time. You know that sort of thing where you just feel like I don't know, like how how is it that people here know these songs? It's yeah, cra crazy time. Yeah, Tim. Uh, when was the first time you guys realized you made it? Because uh, I'm I'm not I don't have a band, you know, but I can tell you, listening you guys to your music in in a movie is probably one of those things that you realize. Oh my gosh, the, this band is huge, you know. You're hearing your song in a movie for you. When was that that time that you realized uh, you you guys made it? Um, I think probably 
I mean, to be honest, for me, like I mentioned about Glastonbury, and I think when you can see people in that those huge numbers, um, I think that's a really big thing. Like, because people, you know, we went through this crazy period of time when, like, every week something mad was happening. Like, we'd get a phone call saying, "Oh, the album's number one again," and or you know, you've been asked to do this big tv show in uh new york or you know what it might have been or supporting you too or like just crazy stuff but i think when you're actually on stage and you're looking out at all those people and they all are singing your song you you're like there's a sort of physical representation of of how you know how many people are into your stuff because until then it, it it's all a bit it doesn't quite seem real somehow um so yeah that was a really big moment that i i'll never forget it's crazy because you guys have one of the most iconic songs you know like you say everybody's changing uh the last time i have a, a favorite one i'm gonna play a game with you uh, in a few minutes but tell me the those iconic songs from this specific album you know 20 years later yeah i mean it's Again, it's funny because you start off with these songs that are just like your little song, you them in a like a bar in London or somewhere, and nobody knows who you are. And, but but then, like twenty years later, you're playing them, and you know, at a huge festival in Monterey, and it seems like everybody knows the songs, and you just think, how has this happened? Um, And I mean, you know, we've had an amazing time recently where uh, like Summer and Iwino in particular has really gone crazy on um, social media, um, for example. And, and suddenly you always sort of, yeah, it was new people are discovering the music. And um, yeah, it's just, it's such a nice it's so, it's just everything you could dream of really you know because the song becomes much bigger than than us and you feel like it, it's sort of thing that people treasure and actually means something in people's lives so we feel yeah really lucky it's so crazy because uh your songs became viral again you know like in tiktok or something and like you said many new generation are getting to know kin Uh, and specifically with this uh, particular festival, it's going to happen the same, you know, because many people don't know Keen and don't know your music. Probably the iconic ones, yeah, but it's going to be huge, you know. Are you guys celebrating in this festival, your 20th anniversary? Yeah, of course. I mean, you know, and I have to say we've we've had such support in Mexico over the years, I, I, it felt to me like we came out um, there quite early um, in our career. And so we've been really lucky to have a, it feels like we have a really good support there. So I, you know, you never quite know what to expect um, with each, but it does feel like everyone's always been really good to us. And I feel like it's going to be a really great show and i mean the last time we played um in mexico um was a festival in mexico city and it was it was so huge and the audience you know we we were actually playing at the same time as billy eilish and i we we all thought oh you know this is a disaster <laughs> everyone's going to be watching billy and it'll be amazing um but actually we came out and the noise from the crowd was incredible And it's, you know, a bit like Glastonbury, actually. Like I said, it was one of those moments where you feel this kind of physical uh, sort of adrenaline rush and the, just the power of all those people. So I'm hoping it's going to be a bit like that. And you know what, Tim? Uh, your name is still huge on the on the headline, you know? It's it's a huge responsibility, you know? You, you're still on the top, you know, of, of the list. So that's pretty, mm -hmm. that's pretty amazing. It's it's crazy. I mean, it, to be honest, it feels like we're sort of bigger than ever. <laughs> um, you know, we, we feel very uh, valued and sort of very treasured by people. And, you know, maybe that's just because we're stuck around. 
stuck around for so long. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a big deal, you know, to be playing high on a festival bill with some amazing names, you know. Um, so we we feel very honoured. So, Tim, uh, before we go, I have a fan question, which is uh, interesting, and I wanted to ask you, where is that somewhere only you guys know? <laughs> well, it makes me think about the town we grew up in, um, which is a town called Battle in um, the south of England. It's a very small town, but it, I feel like that song really came out of a time when we were really struggling as a band just to kind of get started and we'd been trying for a long time you know years and I feel like it was a kind of message to each other just to to kind of I don't know I suppose to sort of regroup and stick together and so it, yeah it makes me think of like these little woods and fields in, um, in battle and and just kind of hanging out there and trying to cling on to our dream it is amazing what you guys can share with music you know it, it is so so beautiful and when you know the story behind it it's more like valuable so uh tim thank you for your time before we go i have a really quick game i want to ask you how's your spanish <laughs> uh mas o menos okay i'm going to show you some titles from hopes and fears written okay. in spanish you're gonna read it and try to guess which which song it is in English. Okay. okay, so this is the first one. Uh, she has no time. Yeah, this is a personal favorite. It is one of my favorites for you guys. Oh, okay. We might as well be strangers. Yeah, it is. Okay, like you that. Can read. Okay, next <laughs> one. Uh, this is the last time. Yeah. Okay. Um, hang on, hang on. It's one of the iconics. Everyone is, everybody's changing. Yeah. And yeah, the yeah. that's good. That's long. Uh, okay. Somewhere only we know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You did great. Okay. I <laughs> thought it was going to be hard, but you did great, Tim. Oh, uh, thanks. Tim, anything you want to say before we go and to your Mexican audience? Oh, just... Thank you for having us back. And we're, we're, we're very excited. We're quite nervous. It's going to be a massive, massive day for us. So um, sing along and, you know, we're going to have a great time. Come on. It's going to be fun. I uh, hope to see you there, team. Thank you so much. For your time. Thanks, Debbie. D99, your music. Your music.